the time. I just keep the death rattle stuff. I can also make the mill version of this. You know, apparently, tournament lineup. If you guys watched the the Canada, whatever the Canada one was, Fibonacci. Fibonacci brought one, right? And then. O Odemian, didn't he win with um, win with something? I think he also had Mill Warrior in his lineup. The thing is, I'm not sure if that's better or worse than just like Weapon Rogue. I guess you should be better against aggro because Warrior has better anti-aggro weapons than Rogue does. But against control, I don't see how Warrior is better than the Rogue one against control. Does this have King Toggle Hoggle? No, I've. Somebody was asking about that one, like having a King Toggle Woggle deck. I think I did open, did open that on NA though, so I think I have it. The thing is, I don't have it golden though. I might end up battle raging. Let's say he plays uh, operative. We have shield slam to get rid of operative. Armor Smith? You got a two mana thing? Smith. Mm, the thing is, I don't know if this is good enough battle rage. I don't have I don't have my acolyte, so this might be one of those cases where I need to save until I have a better battle rage. At least three cards. I have trigger or like shield time is already active and then I have trigger for execute too. So Icker is nice for the battle rage. We'll use shield slam. dropping armor smith if i drop armor smith here it's more like um i can set up the Iker ravaging ghoul battle rage next turn Then I can at least get rid of. So he gains a lot of armor. Do we really care about that? At least I can get rid of this card draw. I guess that means like if he steals shield slam though, he can shield slam something. Gobble that weapon. Don't punch my face. No face. I 
I've got such a useful hero power now. Mm. I guess Ravaging Ghoul then, since I don't want to overdraw. So we're gonna win on fatigue too, unless he gets my uh, dead man's hand. I don't know if he stole that. If I do acolyte. Iker, and drop this. He could overdraw me one card, right? Maybe I don't need to risk that then. Let's go with the Stone Hill and then Matriarch. Uh, another Stone Hill. I'm not really excited about any of these. Do you have Yip in your collection? I do, but not a golden one. You think I should add Yip into this? The thing is, the armor gain is not so much guaranteed. Maybe he screwed up. Maybe this is an OTK and then he um, he thought he could push and manage the Matriarch. I guess I have to watch out for the OTK. But I'm, I'm at pretty high health though. Is he going to be able to OTK? case I kind of don't want to have this at such high health. Drake, and this was not from Nether Spite, so I think it's just like a control, control priest, that kind of thing. These all kind of suck. Um, There could be a pint size um, cabal though. Can we try to draw for the? Um, like I still want, I still want my dead man's hand. We could play. We could play patiently, but kind of want to just try to draw for it. Like I don't know if he can really make me overdraw. Cause I only draw one more card, unless he, unless he heals. Let's just do this. I'll make it so I can't overdraw. Critical card. I 
And it's good enough. It's good enough to Dead Man's Hand. Full hand, we have the Nazoth, we have the critical cards. I guess I should have drawn from this first. Studded. Studded just actually has attack. Because the other one is like only pressuring by one. It's not like we need a defensive taunt. Both potions, no more OTK. Uh, I don't know. Apparently, he stole lots of potions. Even if it's OTK, though, he needed double pint size. He never used one pint size, so. Oh, I guess there's a chance that you played the, what is it, one, the Acolyte guy, the the Dragon Acolyte thing. There was a, there was a chance for that. Do they run Psychic Screams? Maybe. But at least then we get like another Nazoth in our deck if he Psychic Screams. It's not lethal though. I'm not sure. I guess he didn't really have a good way to go for it. Oh. Yeah, I don't have a deck command for like the current deck I'm playing. Is there a way to automatically load that? I suppose if you had your deck tracker load all the decks somewhere and then it can always have a permanent link. That's possible. Hey, it feels good, man. Big ears. I hope it's big priest, like big spell priest. If it's tempo, I think we have a tough time against tempo. Although if they play Alaneth, though, no, we're good. We got the counter to Alaneth. I kind of wish Alaneth was like at the beginning of your turn, draw three cards, because then they don't get, they don't even get the initial benefit. But I suppose paying six mana, right? Six mana, draw three cards. Is, is okay. Like it's not, it's not super broken. As long as we keep it from ad drawing additional cards. I think I have to do this. Why not just let them fatigue to death with Alaneth? Because they can probably just kill you in that time. Like, I think they can burn you out in that time. That's why. This is better against explosive runes, right? If I play this into explosive runes, like at least this has attack. So now it's a counter spell. We don't really need Death Man's hand. Um, but maybe it's better to develop. 
I don't know. What if we... What if we just like... I just don't like the mana usage on this one. I kinda would rather just do the... Get rid of this into counter spell and then... Baby Rage. Yeah, that, I think this was worth it because it gives us a better 5. If we had drawn this next turn, having this plus a Shield Slam, I don't feel like it was... I don't feel like it's as worth it. Top deck Fireball. So I can Shield Slam to trigger a Counter Spell and then Brawl. Okay, that's good. Best one for us. What do I want now? I want Ravaging Ghoul. Maybe it's explosive runes. It's not. It's the what's it called? Ice block then, right? Because uh, I don't think he played. I don't think he played anything for his primordial glyph yet. Geyser. Okay, so we dropped the armor smith. We're gonna we're going to oh that's pretty nice. Do I need to do this? I guess I should do this guy. We got the second armor smith, that's what it matters. Welcome to Value Town. Big priest while talking about mage. Not all white men are priest lock. Wait. What's that about? Okay. I think we want to get as much of the armor smith value as we can. I want this because it's cheaper. I don't know. I guess this is fine too. I want to have a bigger uh, armor smith turn. Like we want to have as many minions as possible before we drop armor smith. But for him to win, he needs to get the Alaneth. But then, like we, we're basically able to get rid of that value. So then we drop these three guys. Actually, I think it's more worthwhile to drop the this guy. Cuz we have the we have the we can armor up and we have the Nazoth in hand. Hey Lord Zeolite, how are you enjoying your Dr. Smart job? Are you still doing the same one? Yeah, I'm going to be coming up on my one year anniversary of working, so pretty exciting. Oh. Damn, some work. But yeah, I hope you're doing well. I pop at one, right? Well, that's pretty nice. Somehow it works out. At the start, you were asking what type of priest your opponent was, because he kind of looks like Anduin, I guess, even though he's a mage. Oh. Whoops. 
Did I really get confused? Maybe, maybe I got confused during games. Yeah. I should have said mage. Yeah. I meant mage, not priest. Whoops. 